Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to be talking to you about this 1992 Mercedes-Benz 300E. It's certainly nice to, uh, to get an old timer. Um, we are the Old Timer Centre and uh, we love selling cars just like this one. But unfortunately, you know, to be a, to be a dealer, you've got to be very fussy with your cars and we can't be buying cars with existing problems, rust or mechanical issues. So as much as we'd love to just be selling Mercedes and other European cars from the 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s, um, we've got to select the very best of what's available and obviously they're getting rarer and rarer. Now this particular car was sold brand new in Australia. It's a Sydney car. It's always been in Sydney. It's got its full logbook history, two keys, and just 198,000 kilometres since it was new. It's the W124 series, which first came out in 1986 and was replaced by the W210 series in 1996. So it ran for 10 years. And uh, although this came out in 1986 when the S-Class was replaced in 1992, it looked just like this car. Had very similar headlights and taillights and the shape was very similar, which they actually ran up until 1998. Now this particular car, it's a 300E. It's got the over single overhead cam motor, the 12 valve. It's got about 135 kilowatts and it's got the four speed transmission. It's a very good engine, absolutely reliable and very smooth. I used to have a 300E just like this one many years ago and I can honestly say it's one of the best cars I've had. I guess unfortunately for me, once you've had a W124 or a 300E, everything else is pretty average. This is the update. Um, so they got updated in late 1989 where you got wood grain inserts on the doors, colour coded bumpers and a few other extras. It's got the original Becker Mexico radio which works perfectly. The air conditioning's nice and cold, the instrument cluster's excellent, you can see the gauges are nice and orange, normally they've gone yellow or white by now. The leather on these cars is incredible the way it lasts. The car drives beautifully, even the cruise control works. You can see the base of the seat's also in good condition. This car hasn't been detailed, it just got traded in on a much later E-Class Mercedes. Just giving it a quick wash. Um, the mechanics had a look at it and uh, he said it's a particularly good car. It'll be going for a roadworthy as well. The W124 series I think is a very special car. It's probably one of the best vehicles to come out of Mercedes-Benz. At the same time there was what's called a 300E 24 valve which got you the twin cam motor which jumped from 135 kilowatts to about 165 or 170 kilowatts. And people were trading in you know, their late 80s 300Es and going to a 300E 24 valve and they were very disappointed. The reason for that is because the 24 valve was very sluggish off the mark. However, once you got it revving, it went like the clappers. But not many people buy a brand new Mercedes and uh, keep the revs between five and 7,000 RPM. The good thing about this motor is you've got instant power. It still revs up to six and a bit thousand. Sounds fantastic, very smooth. I don't think I've, I've, I mean, after my 300E, I even had a Lexus LS400 at the time, which was regarded as one of the smoothest motors on the planet. But I'll tell you what, the 300E was close, if not better. Um, so I think I mentioned it's got the two original keys, the sunroof works. Really, everything about the car is very good. 
it should be a given, but I will say the odometer works perfectly. Unfortunately, with a lot of cars, the odometer's stopped, and people say it's only done, you know, 220,000 kilometers or whatever. Generally, you can tell if you look at the photos and it's been zeroed, and it says zero, zero, zero all the way along here, it's not just because it's only just been reset, it's because someone's pressed reset, it's um, damaged the cluster, and the odometer's stopped working. So that's one good way to tell. It's a very nice color combination. It's got the original wheels. You can see that's got the color-coded bumpers and cladding. To be perfectly honest, I was a bit surprised by the 86 to 88 or 86 to 89 W124 series. I think that looks pretty awful with the black bumpers. I would have preferred a W123 with the beautiful chrome bumpers. But the update was a significant improvement. And I know I've been panning over the same part of the car. I just, I can't stop looking at it. It's absolutely beautiful. And whether it's, whether you want to drive it every single day, a weekend drive, you might be in the Mercedes-Benz club and you want to take it to events, it can do all of it. Um, economical, reliable, safe. And in fact, at the time, the S-Class equivalent was called a W126 which I've also owned, and I, I must say I much prefer the 124. It's just a better driving car, amazing at handling. It's got the original warning triangle. I remember at the time when I had it, I just couldn't get out of it. I used to look forward to the weekends. I used to go for a drive to the Hunter Valley or to the Blue Mountains. I just wanted to put it into some corners because they handle so well. And uh, there was a private road in the Hunter Valley which I had access to and I could wind the speed right up to whatever you can imagine. And I can tell you now, you always feel safe. And you know what? It might not have an airbag, but I can tell you now, it's probably safer than a 10-year-old Honda with a Takata airbag, or any airbag for that matter. For that matter. And you can see on the cluster, see how you've got a little line here, and then you've got two lines there and three lines there. Basically even tells you what gear you're in. So first gear is up to sort of 65, second gear up to about 105, third gear about 165, and fourth gear, I believe they go up to about 220 kilometers an hour. Not that you'll ever use it, but they're capable of that. It's got the single blade windscreen wiper, which was incredible. It's a shame they got rid of it. I think they called it the Panagraph. So you've got one wiper which goes around the windscreen. And unfortunately it was discontinued. Um, I'm told by Mercedes for a pretty silly reason. Really someone unfortunately got injured while the car was on and they were changing a wiper blade. Now, if you've been looking for a W124, if you've been looking for a 300E, this is a car you should definitely come and have a look at. I think the 300E overhead cam is the best of them. A lot of people, you know, they like the 300D. Yeah, look, they're great. But, you know, they don't have a lot of power. Do you really care about the fuel consumption? And if you're taking off the, if you're going from one set of lights to the next and you're with someone in the car, if they jumped out of the car and raced you to the next set of lights, they'd probably beat you. But back to the car, it's very impressive. I really wish we came across a lot more vehicles like this one. Uh, we do have a beautiful W140 at the moment. Uh, 400 SE, but you know that has done 280,000 kilometers and that's a 92 model. It's really nice that this is still done under 200,000 kilometers and I think we've priced it very well. Uh, it does have, I took photos, it's got the original books, the code for the radio, the servicing's all stamped up to date. It's even got the original Becker tape which tells you how to work the radio. And uh, if you have any specific questions, please give me a call. I've driven this car, I've owned them before. 
I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Uh, but really, if you're looking for a 300E, I think this is a car you should definitely come in and have a look at. Thank you again for taking the time to watch this video. We are located in Marrickville. We're only 15 to 20 minutes from Sydney Airport. And we look forward to hearing from you soon.